Good morning. It is Monday, the 29th of July, 2024. It is a cloudy, overcast day here in Garnavillo, Iowa. We had a third of an inch of rain overnight, and there is a possibility of more rain to come. It is going to be a hot and humid week, so do take care of yourself, stay hydrated, and if you need a cool place to cool off, you can always come to the church. It is cool there. There isn't a lot to do in the Fellowship Hall, but it'll at least be cool. Reminder of worship services is coming Sunday, the 1st of August, 8.30 at 1st and 10.30 at St. Paul's. Both services will be live streamed and have Holy Communion. Those are the announcements I'm going to touch on for today. I want to speak a little bit about the commemoration today of Saints Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. They were friends of Jesus who lived at Bethany, which is near Jerusalem. Of course, we all know the story of Lazarus' illness and death, and then Jesus raising him after four days. It is one of the more dramatic incidents recorded in the Gospel of John. Jesus is away from Bethany at the time of Lazarus' illness. Lazarus dies and is buried. Jesus remains away from Bethany for a further two days and then decides to go to Bethany. Upon arriving at Bethany, both sisters confront Jesus with the very plaintive and genuine cry, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. That is the heartache and the anguish that we often feel when someone dies, especially when we've been pleading with the Lord for their recovery from illness, and they do not. It is a hard thing, a painful thing, and at times we feel very angry at God because of death has taken from us unjustly. Jesus reminds the sisters that Lazarus will be raised again, and of course they acknowledge that on the last day Lazarus will be raised. But Jesus points out to them the very real truth when he says, I am the resurrection, the truth, and the life. And he asks the sisters to believe in him. He goes to the grave, weeps at the grave of his friend Lazarus, and then asks for the grave to be opened. Lazarus has been in the tomb four days. Popular Jewish piety at the time believed that the soul lingered near the body for three days and then would depart, never to return. And so Lazarus has been dead four days. There is no hope of life. In fact, Martha points out to Jesus as he asks for the stone to be rolled away that it's already going to smell. Decomposition has already set in. Death is really there. And of course, we know how it all concludes. Jesus raises Lazarus from the dead, and all are amazed and give thanks to God. It is a story of promise and of hope, and it also is a story that can speak to us today. There are many times in our lives when those whom we love die unexpectedly or tragically, and there are no good answers. There are many times we have prayed to the Lord for health and healing and recovery, and that does not come. And those times in which we can genuinely question whether or not God is even there or even good. We do not see, we do not understand the whole scope of things. All we can see and understand is the death of the one we love in front of us. And that is a reality that is terribly painful and it's hard to bear. We do know that the end of all things, those who have trusted in Christ will be raised to life again. But it does not mitigate the heartache and the pain that we feel when they die. Like Martha and Mary, we have to trust that the word of Jesus is truth and that he will accomplish all that he has promises. It may not be in our time or under our circumstances, but it will be according to his will and purpose. And that is what the Christian struggles to do, to live within and for the will of God, to do those things that God would have us do and to trust him for the things we can't begin to understand. It is not always easy and it is not always simple because we are oftentimes touched by things that go beyond understanding and go into great heartache and pain. And there is where we cling to Christ and his promises. We give thanks for the life of Martha, Mary, and Lazarus, for their witness to Jesus, for the life that Jesus gave to Lazarus, and better still, for the life that he gives to us all in the kingdom yet to come. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of Martha, Mary, and Lazarus and their life and their story, the assurance of life that Jesus indeed has come to be the life of the world, 
to conquer and destroy the power of death. Help us to remember in the midst of all our sorrows and tragedies that you are indeed God. And even though we may not comprehend or understand what's happening to us at the time, we know that you will one day make all things new, all things right, all things good. We pray for all of those who are sick and afflicted in any way. We pray for those who are sorrowing and grieving that they may be comforted. And we ask for the blessing of the day before us, that we might love and serve you in it and be a good neighbor to those around us. We pray it all in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I look forward to seeing you all again tomorrow. I hope you have a very good rest of the day. And until then, goodbye now.